So in this presentation, uh, I'm going to talk about leukemia. We'll go over pathophysiology, assessments, and finally nursing interventions. So what is leukemia? To understand leukemia, let's first look at what leukocytes are. Leukocytes are white blood cells and they help to fight against infections in our body and they're derived from the stem cells of the red bone marrow. Leukemia is basically abnormal production of white blood cells and these abnormal cells are not able to find infections and also reduces the ability of the bone marrow to produce um, other blood cells such as red blood cells and platelets. So let's look at how leukemia is classified. Leukemia is first classified uh, depending on how fast uh, the disease progresses. So in acute leukemia, the disease starts suddenly and progresses rapidly within days and weeks. And this results in large number of immature white blood cells or blast cells. In chronic leukemia, the disease progresses much slowly and results in relatively mature white blood cells that are abnormal. Leukemia is also classified uh, depending on the blood stem cells they arise from, so lymphocytic versus myelogenous, and uh, we we'll, can discuss about that in the next slide. So leukemia is classified according to the blood stem cell they arise from. So for example, um, this is a diagram of how white blood cells and other blood cells are formed. So you have a blood stem cell and it can differentiate either into the myeloid stem cell or lymphoid uh, stem cell. And they further differentiate into blast cells and then will further differentiate into red blood cells, platelets, myeloblast that will give rise to all these white blood cells, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, and monocytes. Um, and the other pathway, lymphocytic stem cells will uh, further differentiate into B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and natural killer cells. So uh, in terms of classification, um, for if they arise from the myeloid stem cells, uh, they're called myelogenous leukemia. And if they arise from the lymphoid stem cells, they're called um, lymphocytic leukemia. So these are four major types of leukemia. We have acute lymphocytic leukemia that is common in young children. And you have acute myelogenous leukemia, AML, um, more common in older adults. And you have chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL. And we have chronic myelogenous leukemia. Um, so these are some of the diagnostic measures used to diagnose leukemia. So these are some of the signs and symptoms of uh, leukemia. In terms of nursing assessment, uh, I'm just going to show how to memorize this um, a little bit easier. So in leukemia, because uh, when you have um, increased number of white blood cell production in your bone marrow, um, what results in there's, um, there's a lot of white blood cells so they're not able to produce as many red blood cells. So red blood cells decrease and also because of the crowding of white blood cells they're not able to produce platelets as well as much. So there is a decrease of platelet and the white blood cells that are formed they're not uh, functional so there's a reduced number of functional white blood cells uh, I'm just going to write white blood cells reduced but basically there's decreased um, amount of functional uh, functional white blood cells and so red blood cells decrease in red blood cells um, can result in a weakness fatigue pallor and dyspnea on exertion. 
so you can kind of memorize these uh, related to reduction in red blood cells. And um, because there is a low number of platelets can result in bleeding and bruising, so you can memorize this as a result of platelets. Because platelets are important in clotting process. Um, and fever and tachycardia um, is another sign and symptoms. There, so there is reduction in white blood cells, functional white blood cells that increases uh, the patient um, at uh, increases the patient to be at risk for um, infection, which can result in fever, tachycardia. Um, also, these are some of the other assessments: um, orthostatic hypotension, uh, weight loss. You will also see uh, some of the central nervous system involvement, such as headache, uh, confusion, and also you'll see some uh, bone or joint pain because there's crowding um, of these white blood cells um, that can cause a lot of pain in the bones and joints. You'll also see hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. So this is a part of the CBC uh, complete blood cell count assessment. So I think I described about that in the last slide. Um, so we have um, normal elevated or reduced white blood cell count. So basically you will, uh, you will have a, a reduced amount of functional white blood cells count and decreased hemoglobin and decreased platelets. So these are some of the treatments for leukemia, uh, chemotherapy, stem cell transplant, and radiation therapy. Um, so uh, patients with um, leukemia, they're more prone to infections, um, respiratory infections, and other types of infections because there is a reduced number of white blood cells. So they're not able to fight infections. Uh, so in the hospital setting, they'll be receiving antibiotics, antiviral, and antifungal agents. Just keep an eye for infections, for signs and symptoms. You can um, check their lab values to keep an eye on their white blood cell count, um, neutrophil count. Um, also keep an eye on um, the temperature to see if they have a fever. Um, also keep an eye on um, on the pulse to see if they have any tachycardia that can indicate. Uh, these are all uh, together will tell you um, signs and symptoms of infection. So in terms of respiratory infection, you have to do a respiratory assessment. Um, also patients with leukemia, they might be getting blood replacement within the hospital setting because they might be having a um, decreased number of hemoglobin. Um, hemoglobin um, and also they might be getting other types of transfusion, platelet transfusion if they have reduced platelet levels. Um, and uh, also uh, patients, uh, patients will also have most likely have, um, because they have reduced number of white blood cells sometimes, their white blood cells count is uh, extremely low and their neutrophil counts is extremely low and uh, uh, they, need to, uh, they need to increase their white blood cell count. So they might be getting any growth factors such as filgastin or neupogen.